Good afternoon. I'm very pleased to be joined this afternoon by the Minister of Environment, Planning, Infrastructure, Strategy, the Honorable Walter Ban, the President of Tucker's Point Hotel and Spa, Mr. Ed Tripp, the Chief Operating Officer of Rosewood, Mr. Robert Ballone, the Head of Corporate Real Estate Division of HSBC, Mr. David Gray, the President of the Bermuda Industrial Union, Mr. Chris Ferbert, and the employees of Tucker's Point. Ladies and gentlemen, earlier this morning in the House of Assembly, you'll be aware that government tabled the Special Development Order 2011. You would have heard Ms. Minister Raban explain in the House the rationale and the reasons for tabling the order. On behalf of the Ministry of Business Development and Tourism, I'm very pleased to offer my support for the order which will make provisions for the expansion of a hotel. You will have also heard me expand on, on the government's commitment to investing in hotel development, and we look forward to working with Truckers Point Club during the planning and developmental phase of the project and on the finalizing the development details. Simply put, ladies and gentlemen, our hotel product is of national importance. Its success is very important to every facet of our community. Its success is vital to our residents who work in the tourism industry, and its success is important to the stakeholders who offer services in the industry such as restaurateurs, sports and leisure operators, taxi drivers, retail, and the list is endless. Ladies and gentlemen, Tucker's Point is a shining example of new hope for the development of Bermuda's hotel product. The acclaimed Tucker's Point Hotel and Spa is the first luxury hotel to be built in Bermuda for more than 35 years. It has been a vital addition to Bermuda's tourism economy and has raised the bar for hospitality facilities and services in Bermuda. Rosewood Hotel and Resorts has an international reputation for the highest standards of quality and luxury. And their support and management of the Tucker's Point will ensure its continued operation at a high, impeccable standard. I want to take a moment to acknowledge the CEO of Rosewood, Mr. Robert Ballone. Many thanks for your support and your dedication and commitment, not only to Tucker's Point, but to Bermuda as well. Finally, ladies and gentlemen, there has been considerable discussion coming from certain sectors of the community about the current state of the tourism in Bermuda. This government is listening and is very cognizant of the delicate balance a society must have to maintain quality, environmentally enriched, open spaces, and sustained, sustainable economic viability. However, it must be understood, in order to compete and cope in this current climate, governments and tourism authorities around the world have had to readjust the way they position their tourism product. Competition is ever becoming more sophisticated and focused as travel destinations vie with one another for limited tourism dollars to attract and maintain a traveler who is now even more discerning on where they choose to spend their leisure time. We are working in close partnership with all the hoteliers to ensure that they understand that this government fully supports their efforts to bolster Bermuda's tourism product. You will recall that last month I traveled to Jamaica with our hoteliers to participate in the CTO ministers meeting, as well as the Caribbean Hotel Association's Caribbean Market 2011. Represented hotels in Jamaica included the Fairmont Group, Elbow Beach Reefs, Cambridge Beaches, Tucker's Point, Grotto Bay, and Cocoa Reef. It was an enlightening opportunity for me on several levels, but I was most heartened by was by was bearing witness to the passion expressed by hoteliers to increase the number of visitors in a collaborative manner, as well as their commitment to revitalizing our bedrock of Bermuda's success, which is tourism. So how can we not but embrace and support their efforts? It's our collective responsibility as a people, as a government, and as a country. So I'd now like to turn it over to Minister Raban, who will offer for you a perspective from his ministry pertaining to this SDO. Thank you. 